everyone Arlen here welcome back to my country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today it is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to and what I'm up to today is as you can see I'm in my car and I am heading to the hairdresser to get my hair did as you can probably tell I did wash it this morning because she always asks that I wash my hair to get all the product out of my hair so the only product that's in my hair right now is just a spritz of hairspray <laughs> to keep it in in uh, place uh, for when we went to lunch and that's it so anyway so I thought I would just come on here and have a little chit chat with you I really don't have anything to chit chat about if I'm honest uh, Chris and I, I am going to put up a video next week. I might get this edited for the, today. Hopefully the kids are coming tomorrow. So, you know, hopefully I'll be able to get this up this afternoon, but, uh, which is Friday, which is Friday. So, uh, Chris and I though took a trip to Skyline Drive yesterday and I plan on coming back with a video uh, because we stopped at an orchard and did a couple of other things. So I don't want to do that in with the car chit chat. Uh, plus that is an editing beast, <laughs> to be honest. And these car chit chats are kind of easy to edit if I don't make too many mistakes and if I don't get too halty in my conversation, you know. So uh, anyway, I thought I would just come on and just chit chat with you for a little while as we go head into the weekend. I know I said my video the other day about my uh, purging or you know whether to keep purge or trash uh oh look I got thick eye teeth is that pretty oh yeah sorry about that <laughs> um would be my last video but since I'm doing this today I thought I would bring this to you I think you need to get on your side of the middle there buddy if you don't mind my goodness uh, so anyway, today I think I'm going to be getting highlights. I know I look very blonde right now, but it's really just I'm washed out. I'm very, very, very washed out. My um, hair does tend to fade or to the color, I guess, fades or whatever. So what she'll do is she'll put, uh, you know, a, a dark blonde color. Really, they um, Billy, before I left her, had lifted my color. Or no, I didn't leave her. She uh, went back to school. So I switched to my new girl, Sandy, who is awesome, by the way. Who is absolutely awesome. And if anybody, uh, any of you want her personal, her information, just let me know and I'll, and I'll give it to you. I'm um, not sure what's going on here with all this traffic. All right. <laughs> Out in the middle of nowhere, I've got traffic. Uh, anyway, she will take my base color and she will, you know... Put it all right by my scalp and then she'll do however many foils she does i believe it's nine foils that she does and that will really give my hair some good contrast so you'll see when i come out you know that it will look probably very similar to this i'm not sure uh to be honest with you but it may be a little lighter i'm not but darker in other places it'll be it'll be contrasting it'll look more natural it'll look more natural so I'm not gonna get anything cut off of it except for just to nip the ends and I'm gonna have her texturize the top of it a little bit because it's just, my hair is, it, I've got a lot of hair, but it's very fine and I need a little help in the texturizing department sometimes, so. That's what I'm having done. I use all Redken products. Um, as a matter of fact, the last two salons, I mean the, the salon that Billy was at and then this little girl, their main, um, product line is not Redken, but because I am so sensitive to everything else, I mean, even, and it's, and it's odd, but a hair color, especially, I have to use Redken. I cannot use anything else. They've tried, she tried to do another, uh, hair, really did. Um, and that's how we figured out that I could only use Redken. And I had a terrible reaction to it, itching and red scalp, and it was horrible. It was horrible. So, uh, since then, we've only used Redken, so little Sandy always gets me Redken too. So the Redken products, uh, shampoo and conditioner wise, I use usually Redken products too, and I don't remember uh, the name of them, but they come in a white bottle. 
can't remember the name of them. Um, and to be honest with you, uh, as a switch out, I use Pantene, um, classic Pantene and conditioner. And I know, I know it's not necessarily good for colored hair. It's not necessarily good for your hair, but I like for me and my hair, I like the way it makes my hair feel. So there we go. I use that as a, uh, you know, I, I usually switch every other time and I only wash my hair about really and truly once, maybe twice a week, depending on what I've got going on in the week. Uh, and as each day passes, it gets better and better and better. And because it gets more product put a, on it. <laughs> uh, but as it is, I use a, a, I use a gel for, um, I can give you the number. I use a Redken gel. Uh, and I do use some products that Sandy sells too. Uh, uh, one is a scalp. Um, it's like a it's like a powder that you that comes in a uh, pump uh, plastic pump jar I guess for lack of a better way to put it and you just separate your hair and put it right on the scalp and then rub it in a little bit and it just helps that hair you know give it a little texture give it a little oomph you know so I also use dry shampoo you know after the first or second day to you know and that helps to really uh, ramp the, the volume up. So this is me with no product in my hair. I can't even believe I'm coming here. So anyway, that's what I'm up to up to today. I, I really just so appreciate being able to go and get my hair colored and cut professionally. Uh, if I, you know, because I'm on YouTube, but I, I've done this forever in a day. I just have never been one to, uh, oh goodness knows, cut my own hair. I'd look a sight if I even tried that, um, or to try to color my own hair. I just, I don't trust myself to do it, you guys. And I like the contrast that they can, uh, give me with my color, you know, so I really appreciate being able to, between my nails and my hair, if those two things are not right, I'm not right. You know, it just knocks me for a loop. So anyway, uh, the leaves are starting to change around here. But as you'll see in the video next week, when we went up in the mountains, they are really starting to change. And I think we're planning another trip up there in a couple of weeks so we can try to get up there in the peak, peak, uh, peak time. We get out here on this road. All righty, here we go. And uh, what else do I have to talk about? I don't have a lot going on, to be honest with you, because we are between decorating um, series. And um, I have chosen some stuff out to to do uh, uh, Maverick and Gigi Create. <laughs> a couple of little things I have uh, waiting for him. And we have about three pumpkins to, to carve. So I don't know whether we'll get to it, but hopefully we will this weekend and I'll be able to, you know, bring you a little bit of that stuff next week. Uh, but as far as decorating is concerned, I really don't have anything. And a lot of you had asked me to do some cooking videos. Y'all, I just don't cook as much as I used to. I mean, when we get closer to the holidays, I do my staples, my peanut butter fudge, my cheesecake, you know, all that stuff. But I just don't cook. I'll be honest with you. Chris cooks uh, soups and uh, then we eat off of the soup, you know, for a week and then he'll, or we'll freeze it and put it in the freezer. Uh, just recently he did crab or not crab, but uh, shrimp Creole. And I eat that like soup. I don't put it over any kind of starch or anything, you know? So, uh, and then we'll cook a chicken and then we'll have the chicken and then you know and but we don't eat anything elaborate right now I, I'm not doing crock pot meals I'm not doing uh, instapot meals or any kind of casserole kind of thing that would be fun for you guys to look at it's just very I eat a salad and I eat a protein and I eat a vegetable every night I mean I am so regimented on my diet and so is Chris you know and we beat the same things and you know we do switch it up with different soups sometimes but and he won't do tutorials so don't ask <laughs> he won't do them you know that I, I've been pretty lucky to get him on camera as much as I have huh lately so but he won't he won't do a cooking tutorial or anything like that so anyway I don't know the cooking might have to wait until we get closer to uh 
I am doing a pot roast this weekend, but I already have that on video and I can give you a link for my pot roast, which I love my pot roast, uh, but I'll just give you a link for that in the description. I don't need to put that on video again because I've already done it, you know, on video. So, uh, but we are, that's one thing we are having this weekend. And then the kids are cooking for us. Candace is going to be cooking rockfish stuffed. She said stuffed rockfish. Um, stuff with crab meat. I'm like, oh, mercy. That sounds delicious. <laughs> so have that. And I think she said baked potato. She said, but mom, I know you like your salad, so you don't have to have a baked potato. Take the starch out and we'll give you a salad. And I said, okay, well, that's a thought, you know, and then she's making green beans and she makes, um, she buys the frozen green beans, but they're fresh frozen, you know, and uh, she cooks them with bacon and a pearl onion and it is so good. They are so good. So having the green beans and I don't know what all. So sounds like we're going to have a, a, you know, lovely things to eat <laughs> this weekend. Uh, but other than that, I really don't have a lot, you know, going on. I, you know, we've been, I've still been working on uh, cleaning up the basement and organizing my shelves. I asked Chris to cut up some cardboard and uh, put it out on some shelving that I have in the basement that I showed you in the in the video the other day. Uh, some of that that shelving that he used over uh, on that one wall has you know has metal uh, rungs you know and when I set some of the stuff up there they get wonky on me. So he said yep yep yep. So he's um, working on that for me. We're also, we've also been thinking about uh, how to frame uh, the Lord's Prayer that my mother-in-law gave me that I showed in my hall last week. Uh, Chris is going to make the frame, I believe, for that. And I think we're going to get a piece uh, of contact um, paper or something behind it. Uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing. Figured out where I want to hang it, though, in the living room. So I think I'll hang it in there. <clears throat> so we're working on that. And, uh, you know, we're just... We're really working on the basement, honestly, and that's hard to film and do all that stuff because there's so much stuff sitting around and, you know, it's a work in progress. It really, really, really is. So anyway, thank you guys. Uh, let me take a moment here to say thank you so much for all of your comments as of late. Uh, welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys for, for signing up with me here and, um, please do take a moment to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, you know, I do share more than just decorating and crafting. I share like this, you know, um, just daily stuff sometimes. I don't do a daily vlog, but I do do vlogging style like this. Sometimes car chit chats and like you'll see next week, uh, you know, I, I'll do, uh, you know, I'll take you through our day, you know, as we drove, took, took a drive up onto Skyline Drive and so on. And uh, so I do more than just decorating and crafting. Uh, so it's free to subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button, then click on the, the thumbs up and hit the notification bell, the little bell there and the drop down menu will come up and, and uh, hit all. If you, and so that way you never miss one of my uploads. <laughs> and uh, I would really appreciate that. But thank you for all of your comments. I've been running around like a crazy woman, but that's nothing new there. I always am... You know, I'm, I'm like I said, like the Energizer Bunny. I don't like to be idle. I'm very rarely idle. and uh, But I do absolutely read every single comment that comes into my channel. Absolutely. And I heart them. I, I press the heart. So you know when that your heart has been pressed on your comment, you know that I've read it and I've taken it to my heart. So never think that I that your comment will not be seen. It will be seen. And I will hopefully acknowledge, at least with the with the heart, you know. But I just can't comment back to everybody, unfortunately, you guys. I'd love to be able to, but I just can't. So, but don't. That doesn't mean I don't appreciate you. That doesn't mean I don't read the comments and take them to heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, oh, one other thing. Did I tell you this? I don't think I told you this. I told you that my dad got a his ninth hole in one and that was right before easter did i tell you he got a tenth <laughs> yes he did just a couple of weeks ago he has had 10 holes in one you guys in his career he's 80 
87. He'll be 88 in February. And he still plays golf every single day. He does ride a cart now in a cart. He used to walk and carry his clubs. Then he used to walk and pull his clubs as he aged, you know. And now he and now he's moved to the senior tees. He said, now than I am shooting off the senior tees. I said, oh my word, Dad, I can't believe that you're having to do that. At, at 80, almost 88, you're having to shoot off the senior tees? My goodness, <laughs> you know. And, uh, and he rides in a cart. So he rides his cart to his tee and he gets out and he shoots his ball. And uh, I said, I was just talking to him the other night. I said, Dad, did you get your hole in one this week? He says, Arlen, I almost did. And he said, Lord, I don't need any more holes in one. I've had enough in my career. I said, Dad, can you ever have enough holes in one? Well, Arlen, I don't want to get, you know, stingy or whatever. I said, shoot, Dad, you're so talented. I said, take them, own them, own those holes in one, you know, 10, 10 holes in one. That's amazing. I mean, most people are happy if they just get one hole in one in their lifetime. He's something else. So <laughs> he was happy. He was getting ready to go into uh, one of the local, my old high school, my alma mater, as a matter of fact, uh, football game. He goes and supports all the local football games and baseball games and tennis matches. And he and his buddies go and they, um, you know, they go and they watch the kids and they support the local, local high school sports. And you know, how amazing is that, you know? So, but anyway, I'm almost to my hair place. So I'm gonna let you go for now, uh, but I'll be back and show you how it looks when I'm done. All right, all right, I'll be back in just a few minutes. I can't turn off because I'm on a very turny road here. So I don't wanna lift my hand and turn off. So, but I'll be back. Okie dokie everybody, I'm done and check it out. I did not get highlights this time. I did not get highlights because we decided that my hair was so washed out uh, from the month previous that we, I don't, we didn't think I needed highlights and I may not get them again until right before Christmas, to be honest, because my hair really is very light right now and I love it, but it, it almost looks like a caramel color, doesn't it right now? I love it. But, and it's still the dimensions, you can still see the dimensions. So all she did was just give me my, my base color. Uh, I wanted to show you her card here. If you guys are at all interested, this is who I go to pause your computer and take down her information her name is Sandy and she is fabulous absolutely fabulous so there she is I love her I absolutely love her and she did a phenomenal job as always and as you saw as you see she didn't take much off she gave me a little bit of a, a, a texturizing on the top and she she brought it I, I asked her to frame my eyes a little bit better so she did do that and I love it I love it so anyway all right now I'm my seat belt on and we are going to head on back home I'm warm it is 75 degrees but the car was sitting I have a black car and it was sitting right in the sun so we're going to head home now it is 2 10 10 after 2 and Hobby Lobby is right there, but I am not going in. It's right there, and I'm not going in. No, I'm not. I do not need a thing. So we are, I am gonna go home and do put this on my computer and see if I can edit it and put it up. And uh, then that'll be it till next week, for sure. I hear my mouth. Met a nice little lady who came in to have her hair just washed and blow dried <laughs> and had a nice little conversation with her. She was my dad's age and uh, she was a sweetie. So I just love my hairdresser. I have to say Sandy, I just love her. She is the sweetest and she listens to everything that I ask and she tries to do accommodate and she fixes my hair so pretty. Uh, before I leave and she makes sure that everything's just so I just love her I just love her so oh my goodness but anyway I guess that's really it I don't really have much else to, to chat with you guys about I wish I did I'm trying to think of any kind of stories I have or anything like that that I could that I could talk to you about but I don't really have nothing is going on <laughs> so 
I know. I had somebody ask me if uh, I give my girls the option to take all of the uh, decor items or the accent pieces that I'm purging. Do I give them a chance to go through them and look at them and see if they would like them? And I absolutely do. I absolutely do. How I do with them though is I take pictures. They remember a lot of my decor, of course because they're always at the house and they've seen it through the years. And I'm like, do you want this? Or do, can you use that? Or do you think you would ever want this and this and that? And if they want it, they are always welcome to it first. Uh, and if they don't, then I, that's when I purge it. I am so sorry that it's a little bumpy where I am right now. Sorry about that. Uh, and, but I do, I give them the opportunity always to look through my stuff and, and pick and choose, you know, if they would like to utilize anything. Kristen for her classroom or for her home or Candace for her home. And um, so yes, of course, my girls always get first dibs on everything. <laughs> and, uh, and they're both good decorators in their own right. You know, they both are very, very, very talented, uh, very creative girls, both of them, you know, so they make their own creations and do their own thing. Now I do all the reads, you know, if they ever want reads, I do the reads and things like that. But um, they're not really into centerpieces so much or things like that. So, you know, but yes, I always give them the opportunity to pick and choose first. So, ah, but anyway, I'm going by Kirkland's. Kirkland's is over here to my right. It's really hard sometimes just, I'm going home. I'm going home. I don't need anything. I don't need anything. I got a Walmart here. Uh, I got Cracker Barrel down the street here. <laughs> I'm in Central Park for those of you who live in the area. So you all are now uh, passing the Red Crab. It looks like Burlington and Burlington Co. Factory and TJ Maxx are right next to one another now. And I haven't been into the Burlington. Oh, I got a red light. Uh, I haven't been into the Burlington, but I was into the TJ Maxx when it first opened. Just run the red light. Go ahead. And um, I was not thrilled with this TJ Maxx. Now it could be just because it was all new merchandise and, or, you know, uh, they had just opened or whatever, but I wasn't, wasn't at all enamored with, uh, with this TJ Maxx over here on this side of town. But uh, no, well, we don't have one on the other side of town. What am I saying? But um, maybe I'll give it another try, you know, to go in there and check it out. So just cross past the Cracker Barrel, which I have not been in. Uh, so one of you guys was showing me some stuff that Cracker Barrel has, and it looks really lovely. Some of the things that they have for Christmas look really, really, really nice. So, uh, but I haven't been in there yet. In fact, I haven't been really shopping anywhere since I finished my, my uh, fall decor, other than my Santa Claus and the stuff I got that day at Snow and Ice. So, Anyway, all right, I guess that's it, you guys. I'm going to wish you guys a wonderful weekend. I hope you get to see those you love or who love you. And if you don't get to see them, I hope you get to talk to them. And don't ever forget to tell them that you love them. When you're done talking to them or when you're, when you're ready to say goodbye, always, you know, give them a hug. Tell them you love them. Because we're not guaranteed tomorrow, right? We're never guaranteed tomorrow. So let me go into my final words and say thank you all so much for stopping in here today sorry this was kind of a short little pop-up uh car chit chat but uh for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain i hope that you have someone there with you taking care of you helping you get through each day making the very very best out of each day i hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, <laughs> y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. <laughs>